Hi, this is Professor Chan talking to you about business calculus for exam 4 review problems. The first example is on finding integrals. And if you look at part A, the first thing we need to do is to rewrite integral into the power form. So cube uh, so fourth root of x cubed can be rewritten as x raised to the power of 3 over 4. And once we have that written in the power form, we can use the power rule for the anti differentiation. So we're going to add 1 to the power and then divide the ex expression with a new power, which is 3 fourths plus 1. And then that gives us a 7 fourth. And the next thing we need to do is basically rewrite. And notice that division by 7 fourth is equivalent to multiplication by 4 over 7th. Therefore, we have the final result. And don't forget to put a plus C at the end. For part B, we proceed with the similar process. Integration of 9 over x to the fifth dx, and don't forget to write dx because that is the differential variable that we are integrating with respect to. The so first thing we do is pull out the coefficient 9 and rewrite it as 9 integral of x to the negative 5. And using the power rule for anti differentiation, we're going to add 1 to the power and divide it by the new power. So negative 5 plus 1 is the negative 4, and then divided by the new power, negative 4, gives us the results. Notice that you can put the negative sign anywhere you want in the expression. So that means you can put the negative sign with the 9, or with the 4, or just out in the front, either way. For part C, this integral consists of three parts. So the first thing we need to do is rewrite the integral into three separate parts with its own integral. So for the first part, we have 1 over z squared can be rewritten as z to the negative 2. And remember for each part that you have, you need to have the dz or the differential symbol at the end attached to it. The second part is 7 over z. I'm going to pull out the 7 and write it as an integral of 7, integral of 1 over z dz. And for the third part, it's a constant, so it can, can be left inside the integral. So we have integral of square root of 18 dz altogether. And once we have that, we're going to use the respective rules on each of those integrals, particularly for the first one is satisfies the power rule. Again, so we're going to add 1, to the power and divided by the new power. And a negative 2 plus 1 is the negative 1. Therefore, we get z to the negative 1 divided by negative 1. For the second part, you can't really use the power rule because it is z raised to the negative 1. So if you add 1 to it, you get 0, and division by 0 is undefined. So we have to use this exception power rule, which is what we call the log rule, to solve that. So the second component basically becomes 7 times natural log of of z. And remember to put the, the the variable z in the absolute value. And for the third part, integral of a constant essentially is just the constant times the variable. Therefore we just get square root of 18 times the variable z. And this is fairly done, but just as a rewrite to clean it up because we don't want to have negative exponents in our expressions therefore we're going to rewrite the first turn only into the negative one over z to the first power everything else stays the same therefore to end it we're going to put a plus c for the fourth part, part d we pretty much proceed with the similar process we split the integral into three parts. So the first part is simply just integral of negative 3 
e to the 2t, and remember to pull out that coefficient in front of the integral sign. For the second part, I'm going to rewrite that using the power rule. So that can be rewritten as integral of t raised to the uh, one-third, because it's actually in a denominator, so you get negative one-third for the power. And for the third part, it's just a constant integral of 5 dt. Now if we proceed to integrate each term, term by term, by using the rules, the first one, remember the, the rule for exponential function, uh, a integral of e to the kx is the same as 1 over k times e to the kx. Using that rule, we get negative 3 divided by 2 and times e to the 2t. For this, the second part, it's just simply the power rule. We're going to add 1 to the power, so negative 1 third plus 1 is positive 2 thirds. And then you divide by 2 thirds, which is equivalent to multiplying a 3 halves. And then the third part is just 5t. Altogether, you're going to add plus c at the end to conclude.